guys, well hello everyone and season 2 of Blood Bowl 3, I was going to say 2 there for a second, just got that used to saying the 2, has started and with the new team being, well here, the Underworld Denzins. Um, I think it's uh, time for us to create an Underworld Denzins team and have a wee play. In the Underworld Denzins teams and older World Blood Bowl games are a team I quite liked for the simple fact is there was a lot of variety in players. As you can see here, you've got your Skaven players, you've got your Goblins. They're basically a mashup between Goblins and Skaven. And they didn't get a lot of the fancy tool of Goblins, but then they got the cool stuff of the uh, Skaven. So it made them a relatively good team. Um, I'd say basically just Skaven with more options is probably a good way to describe them. So let's see if they're identical there. Also, I want to go out and say is we're going to be doing... This was actually requested back when we started the Skaven playthrough, I think it was. It was around the same time as we started the Skaven playthrough. I think it was on the suggestions for, like, what team should we play next and then Skaven won. But it came after I'd already made the decision. We were playing this game, I think we were a game or two in. Someone went back to that old video and was like, Hey, could next time you do one, could you do this? And I thought, you know what, that's a really good idea. And so we're going to do it. And what was the suggestion? Random only skills. So for this team, I'm just going to call them Rando Mando because it's the first thing that comes to... We're not Mandalorians, but sure, we're Rando Mando. That's going to be the name of the team, and we're going to do random skills only. Okay, that's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to manually build our team, please. No balanced here. And as we see here, oh, we can only get access to one Skaven Blitzer. I'm pretty sure before, didn't they not get access to two? So I suppose that is a downside from them over Skaven. They only get one Skaven Blitzer. Skaven Blitzers are amazing. Some of the best Blitzers in the game. In the game. Mighty Blow, Claw Access, and then Movement Allowance 7. Oh, mwah, 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 mwah. Chef's Kiss. Ah, is that Animosity I see there as well? So that's another downside over Skaven. We've got Animosity. So they're kind of like a subpar Skaven team, but with access to Goblin stuff. So yeah, that, that's going to be interesting. Snotlands, Underworld Troll, uh, Mutant Rat Ogre, Underworld Goblin Lightman, uh, the Blitzer, the Runner, Clan Rats, and Throwers. Right, so the big decision here is going to be Rat Ogre or Troll. Rat ogre or troll, rat ogre or troll, rat ogre or troll. And you could say the troll's worth a lot less, but you're getting almost the same thing. But I think it's all just going to come down to their big guy trait. Let's take a look at. No, no, back. I want to see their big guy trait. I don't see animosity here. Really stupid. When activated, one to three, the player ends their turn. He loses his tackle zone. I think we may go for the troll just because we've already got the rat ogre in our other one. Well, let's take a look. He's just got the animal savagery. Yeah, he knocks down a team player that's beside them. So I think really stupid is a much worse negative. And he's got a lot less movement. Oh, the troll is just straight up worse. Because he's got a worse big guy negative. And he's got less stats elsewhere. The less stats elsewhere, like the movement allowance and the agility and... The, well, he can actually pass. Um... Is not as big a deal because you're not expecting your big guy to be moving around a lot. But he does get regeneration, though. That's uh, that's regeneration, so he does have one little perk there. Always hungry, and he may throw, and he will be able to throw projectile vomit. That may be new. Replaces block target and adjacent standing player roll d6. One, the player is covered in his own vomit. Two plus, the target is covered. All cases make an armor value test without modifier on the victim. If successful, the target is prone. New test enabled. Use only once per turn, compatible with frenzy or multiple block. So, so instead of doing a block, we can do a vomit. Modifier of the victim. If successful, the target is prone and undergoes an injury test. So it's basically you can do that. So if you've got someone that's actually 
up strengths the troll too. Like say you're fighting a, you're fighting a what do you call it? Uh, oh, bloodthirster or something. There's no bloodthirster in the game. Or tree men. There we go. That's the one I was trying to remember. If you're fighting a tree men, the projectile vomit could be useful because basically a block without the risks. So you know what, just for variety's sake, we'll go for the Underworld Troll, considering we've got the Rat Ogre in our Skaven playthrough, right? We're definitely going to be picking up at least one Blitzer, one Gutter Runner, one Skaven Thrower, and at least one Clan Rat. Just as, uh, for a variety's sake, because one of the things you all know I really love is variety. I really love variety in my teams, and yeah, that's really important to me. So you know what, just for the add and sake of that to the variety, we're going to have at least one Snotlin and at least one Goblin as well. Now, I think we should go heavy into more Clan Rats and Goblin linemen. So these guys have the Stunty, Right Stuff and Dodge, whereas the Clan Rats just are basic and animosity. Uh, the gutter runners like the goblin on steroids. How many players have we got? We've got seven. The Snotlin is basically just backup. The Snotlin at strength one, he is literally He is there just as a we've got nothing else to send on the pitch. Backup reserve. He's our twelfth and our thirteenth player. You know what we're gonna even remove him and then add them on at the end. Speaking of which, if we add more of these guys, we'll take them off and add them on again to make sure they're all together as well for just our team list sort of sake. So, that's us at six. So if we go up to three of them, if we go bum bum bum, bum bum bum, make sure they're all together, and then we go bum, 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 bum. That's us at ten. You know what, we'll go up to four goblins then. And then we'll go two snotlins as backup. How much money does that leave over? Lots of money left over in the bank so let's get ourselves two should we go for a third reroll oh apothecary definitely gonna need an apothecary a third reroll and then we just save the last of it or do we get a third snotlin as backup because we've, we've already got two snotlin backup maybe we just go like uh, one, two, leave just that little tiny bit left over. I think that's what we'll do. Purchase, recruit. Boom. Players, done, let's go back to our players. We can take a look. So we've got our troll, blitzer, runner, and clan rat, clan rat. Oh, there is three clan rats. The little mouse. And it's all random skills. This is going to be painful. This is going to be painful. Six SPP for a randomly chosen skill. Three SPP. So at least we could... Roughly, because it's... Yeah, we can get a mutation. Crime, it's only three SPP if we're going for a mutation. The mutations are going to be the, th the hard part, though, because... I suppose all the skills are going to be really weird when we're just randomly generating them. Alright, let's take a quick look at customization. Let's uh... Our little snacklings! We're not using that guy, we're using this guy. We'll just take a quick look at him, eh? Hey, let's just uh... It's a uh, sun that screams underworld. What oh, screams underworld? Oh, you know what? That's not too bad. We'll go for that. I don't know what colours we're going to choose for our team. Maybe sun that looks diseased, green. Yeah, like that. It makes us pretty close to Nurgle, then, like a nice contrast in red. Okay. 
Ew. That'll do. That'll do. Cheerleaders. I'll go for the brutal cheerleaders. I wish we unlocked the lizard men cheerleaders last round, but I got too lazy to just um, go through them all. Yeah, we'll do Grom Bindal again. Stadium. I think the orc pet shoots us best. Grandstand. We've only got City. Dugout. I don't think I've got much. Oh, Underworld Denzins. We'll choose that one there. Alright. Dice. Let's go for the brutal ball. Underworld motto. Uh, motto. Uh, with fire. I couldn't think of anything, so just kill it with fire. Wait a minute. That's probably. Wait, 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 wait. Kill it with green fire. There we go. That's more like us. There we go. Name all done. Formations. Too lazy. Right. Let's jump in and play a game now. So uh, I'll reset this conversation. Uh, competition. I'm trying to remember how to do that now. There is a way to do it. Ah, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I come to this unregistered estate. There we go, that does it. Competition ended. Reset the competition. So many buttons. Register team. Uh, Randall Mando. Confirm. Boom. Now we can play our first game versus the Bilge Rats. And we've seen this lots of times. Let's just skip that right away. This competition is sponsored by Corsair Cruise, the company that takes all of its clients for a ride, whether they like it or not. Oh, wrong button. Good weather. Shame. Nothing to spice things. The Rando Mandos! Right, we got a wee bit of petty cash. We can't really afford much. It would have been fun to maybe take one of these star players. Because I think, are they new? Or are they just... I'm not used to seeing them. How much petty cash have we got? 105,000, that's enough for it. Team trading or two? Yeah, we're ready at that. We're ready at that. All right, I want to kick the ball for the first time. For one of those teams, this match is crucial. That green and orange is popping quite nicely. I must admit. Right, definitely sticking you there. Where's our blitzer? There he's there. You're going there. Our thrower should definitely and gutter runner. Gutter runner. Yeah, you're going to be our two main ball handlers, I think. Then goblins just ready to be support anywhere and everywhere. Our two snotlins in reserve. At the moment, no one stand out. Uh, but I think this Blitzer is going to be our favourite player for now. Because we've only got one of them. If he manages to roll Claws and mutas Mutation, I'll literally have Tears of Joy. Though we probably should try and get him Dodge first or Mighty Blow or I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Oh. 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 I just realised. I know what we could do. We could make it even more random. I've got dice here. I don't have a D6. I've got D... I've got a D20 to hand and a couple of, actually quite a lot of D4s. We could randomise what skills they get to take as well, but I'd have to remember a way of checking it. 
So, because we could randomize what branch they get to take it to, make it even more random. I like the new Corsair cruise ad, Jim. The one with Kiroth Crack and I. I thought you couldn't stand here. I can't. Thanks to Trying to think, there's five areas, isn't there? There's a general strength. Is it passing in agility? General strength, something in agility, is it not? And then mutation, so that's five areas. And then characteristic, so six. You could say six. On the edge of the field. But uh, do we include that? And then maybe I could roll the d20 and divide it by five. So one to four is general, five to, you know, so on and so on. Right, the ball handler is all the way up there looking very vulnerable. Let's uh, get you some skaven running up, being good fretting on, on him. The animosity is going to hurt. Activating when this player attempts to hand off or pass to a teammate of the listed type. Goblin lineman. Yeah, this person has animosity towards the goblin lineman. So they're not going to want to pass the ball to the goblin lineman. So is that just all the Skaven have animosity? Yeah, all the Skaven characters have animosity towards the goblins. You know what you could move there, and them having two gutter runners and two blitzers is a huge advantage over me. Yeah, he passes really stupid. He's a good big stupid boy, right? I think we want to dodge away there. I think we want to leave some roadblocks there, though. some roadblocks here just in case they try and pass here and these guys want to dodge all the way through and you know what we should get a blitz off oh no we've got five rerolls mm, now nah, we're gonna save our rerolls for now save our rerolls oh that is just not fair we may be bringing it to snotland soon already we may be bringing it to snotland soon So yeah, I like Underworld Denzins, but they're basically just like a Skaven hard mode. There's nothing different. I was wondering if there would be anything different. The yeah, that's what I was worried about, and then I'm dodging through. Oh, and then I sent all my fast players up to, like, thingy them next turn. It was only when I had none but the goblins left. I was like, wait a minute. They're Skaven. I've got to think Skaven are super fast. That's why I use the goblins to build a wee bit of a wall around those players. Right. Goblin! He's strength free, so... That should be a uh, two die block now. Yep, let's get in there. Come on, guys, together. Oh, we're rerolling that. We are rerolling that. Happy days. We got him down. Now let's just pray. One of the other. A is a dead uh, I love the. Yeah, I was just wanting to pray that one of them didn't pick it up. Right. Does this guy start off with sure hands? He does. Getting him to pick up the ball might not be a bad idea. And then you there, thinking the worst case scenario. Oh, we got you to pick up the ball too. That would be a three plus. And you have dodge. Hmm. But you've got sure hands. Let's see if he flees him up anyway. He passes really stupid, but he has dodge, so we don't free him up. Move him that way. Yeah, actually, we should do some smart moves first. We should do some smarter moves first.
try and make it as hard for them to pick up the ball as possible because they're scared if they do pick it up they'll be just run away with it and I think we go with you yes finally got him down and you'll stay so you're free next turn to get me a touchdown if we pass to you now it's a 4 plus with you but we've got a reroll 4 plus with a reroll should be better odds yep then a 3 plus so that's fine that's perfect and we've got some support there, so it's going to be double chained die if they try and just blitz me or attack me off the get go. I should probably say something meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. All I can think of is splat. Good old dodge! Fast and impossible to tackle. The fans will love it. One die block, eh? Oh yeah, cause uh, not a support uh, as I thought, cause that guy's up. And he don't have dodge. If I did it that way, it'd be cause of him. I could blitz and then go over and try and pass, but I want to blitz here. I really want to blitz here. I know it's bad, and I shouldn't do it, but I want to. I want to get that guy off the pitch. And I want, I want to do that. Is he still in contact with that guy? He is. I want to do something stupid. I want to do something stupid, but it's not a good idea. Move you as close as anything. I'm about to do something stupid. I can feel it in my bones. The fight is about to happen. I'm doing the stupid. I shouldn't be doing it, but I want to do it so badly. That's fine. Stay put. Eat him, crowd! Eat him! Gutter Runner is a very scary opponent. Oh, wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it. Now, I don't have my blitz to do that and, and pass the ball. I think I just do the one die block. I just have to do it as a one die block. Ah, reroll! Ah, no! Ah, that's terrible! Plus, he was going to be a plus one. Oh, that was terrible. Didn't even get a buff down. Double skulls. I said the stupid was a bad idea. I should have saved my blitz for him. Oh, ref! 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 Where's the ref? I think it's if he rolls doubles, Mr. Ref gets involved. Gone into the opponent's tackle zone. Oh, here comes the blitz. Good old dodge. That's actually good for him. Ouch! And another try bites the dirt. Surrounded by adversaries like that. Right. Let's see if we can free up this ball carrier and get that pass off. Push him there. Oh, you know, push him there. Uh, I think wait, if I push him there. Yeah! I was trying to think of how to get the next block, but I just realised I don't need another block. We can do that. Right, you get out of the way. Or don't get out of the way, you big stupid lumbering off! The one spot on the map that you could be a pain in the ass right now more than just losing your tackle zone. Right there, where I need that spot to... <sighs> to get to there. It's a short pass, a 3 plus and a 2 plus. We should have... We have pass as well. He doesn't have catch, but it's a 2 plus. We should get a touchdown this turn. Should. We got the pass. We got the catch. I feel like these two, the gutter runner and the floor, are gonna be a mwah combo for this this team. That's a touchdown! I'm so excited, my heart nearly started beating again. I imagine that in their dreams, at least, they're winning this match. <laughs> Wait, the little snorting! Let's uh, swap the snotland and this little goblin. Hello! 
at him. He's a little kid boy. He's so gonna die the second anyone gets close to him. He's a little kid goblin. On steroids. What's the opposite of steroids? Cuteroids. He's a little tiny goblin on cuteroids. An early advance. But as we watch this kickoff, we have to ask. Swarming players can be moved from the dugout to the pitch. What? Swarming? D3 swarming players? Wait a minute, swarming? Is that a snotling ability? Is that a new. Wait, 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 wait. At the start of a drive, after a kick, D3 players with the streak can be moved from the reserve box into the pitch. Limit of 11 players can be exceeded. They cannot be placed on the line of scrimmage. We are buying a third Snotlin. Snotlins just went from one of the worst players in the game to one of the best. You can have 14 players on the pitch at one time. 14 players. We can have 40. Oh, that's new. I love Snotlins. I love them. They're glory. We're gonna have like 20. These things are gonna die in their droves, so we're gonna have like we're gonna need like 20 of them. Snotlins never used to have that rule. That's fully new. That's a nice cage they've built. Right, and how are we going to break into it? That's the thing. The goblin, goblins don't have swarming, just snotlins. With their little strength one and their five movement allowance. They're good for getting plus ones. Oh, I feel my nose because I was getting a wee bit teary there. My nose has decided to start blocking up. So I'm going to just try and not sniffle for the next so long. Right, we need someone in contact with that ball carrier. And our best way to do that is to stick. <sighs> Throw a goblin there. Can you get there, please? At least it's only two plus for really stupid. And if you can get there, please. Our blitzer. Yeah. Nice! If I had a good Broke into the cage. Now, if only we had someone with tackle like to get in contact career. there, too. Well, I could start my own team. You only need a million gold, right? right how are we going to be as big a pain to them as possible now? How do we be as big a pain as the butt as possible to them now? Make sure we've got a nice round on them. Those game. I need to make sure we got these guys covered. That's not one there. It's not one there. Move you there. Move you there. We've got like a bit of a wall. Let's bring you up. Yeah, just in case they try and pass to one of these players. Make it as hard as possible for them to break through it. Pressure's on, Jim. What will they do? Yeah, we got someone in contact with a ball carrier, but he does have dodge. He can just dodge away. I'm scared of him passing to one of these players and then just breaking through. So we've made it so they has to at least roll the dice for that. Pass it to him? I don't understand why they passed it to him. It's going to be even harder for him to escape. They can block there, that'll be nice and easy for them. There's a one die block. But he's going to have to go through both of those players if he wants to get through there. I suppose if he's just looking to bunker down, hold down, and be defensive here, it makes more sense. Oh, I know he's coming back there. That makes it easier for me to get the ball. I don't know what the AI's planning here. Yes! And that looked like he has armor on. Was that a thrower or was that a blitzer? There's a thrower! I just seen the armor. Right. 
you're still in contact with him, so you can't do the blitz. Right, that's the ball carrier there, right? This uh, blitzer. I don't see the little blue circle around them. Just double checking. The ball is in his hand. Gonna be a two plus rush but needs must and we can push him there and get another opportunity to get him down oh reroll reroll good we got him down good got him down badly hurt badly hurt that's their floor one of their floors and their blitzers down one of their main advantages over us is they had two of each and that's them both down now brilliant the ball is there, it's a 4 plus pickup. We can use you as an extra plus one there. You should probably kill this guy. That'll do it for me. Now if we just manage to take out a gutter runner, that'll be their last advantage over us from their scaven units gone. Do we want to go for the touchdown this turn? Because we could get the pass and try and pass it. The attacker has an assist. That just made what I was planning to do a wee bit harder. Free as a fart in a thunderstorm. I was planning to we can go for that instead. Oh, now he rolls a one. Yeah. Should be brain transplant. Yeah, we're running out of time. Let's uh, let's go for it. This is extremely bad odds. Really. Four plus. Four plus, three plus, and then two plus, two plus. We can do that, can't we? Well done. They have the ball. Hey! Two plus, two plus. Nice. Touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown. That's quite a lead. As I said, this floor, got a runner, I see being an insane combo for us. But we've only got one of each. So we're going to need to be a bit more careful with them. Oh damn it, I was hoping he'd come back because we're going to want like four gutter run, a uh, four spare of these guys in case we roll a six or a five on the D3. Let's get them all there. Right, we only get one extra, so that's fine. Let's just put, um, there. I love me snot legs. This will soon get out of hand. We'll hire some more snot lens and get a goblin. I think after this game. They must have glue on their fingers. Another snot lens and another <laughs> goblin. Because the snot lens are no longer back up. They're extra. Invasion. Pitch invasion. Swarmers. Did he pick up the ball it's and come all the way like down here? Why not just squash him next time? With the sidestep as well, that's really damn good. I'm gonna move there. So we're still in contact with him. Eh. I know, he's the gutter runner that has the run. Just like the slender guys in. This player keeps on going. Going and going and going. Go oh we broke our armor. We're good again, good. good. I wish we had someone with tackle to put in contact with you, because that gutter runner being there really scares me. Right, you really need to start threatening that gutter runner. You can head on up and support. Actually, where are you? You've got a lot of movement. Um, that's going to be a 2 plus dodge. Do we still have a reroll? Oh, he's got a reroll from being having the dodge skill, so I doubt we're going to get snake eyes. Good, but we should have waited until we've done the safer options before that. So it was a good thing to do, sending him up, but it was a bad decision to make at that point in time. We should have done some other stuff first. Right, again, we need to remember they are scaven. So every single one of these players is a big threat because they've got so much movement. So much movement. If we could kill this gutter runner, that would be amazing. They've got the advantage, but there is no sure thing in blood, though. What? I'm trying to choose the square to... It won't let me choose the destination square. It 
It wouldn't let me choose the square. Why wouldn't it let me choose the square? I've never had this before. Do I just need to wait on the timer running out? Right, I'll be back in a second once I've worked this out. We're back, I just have to wait for it to time out and it auto chose one for me. I think that's gonna be like the Chaos one more like that constantly I think that's gonna be our new one whenever the goblin. Just copying them. Right, little snotling over there, little snotlings. Oh they move so slowly. Try and be as big a pain as possible. Make it as hard for them to dodge through as possible, build a bit of a wall. They're probably going to pull back and build a cage somewhere. Maybe come right down here and build a cage right here, it looks like. Oh, oh, we'll catch. Really good for me, that's really good for me. Gonna stand up if you can. Yay! Uh, yeah, because I want that space free, space free. Because I can see how we can get a touchdown this turn. Oh, he's getting assist from him. We can get rid of that. I want to maximise our odds again. That touchdown. But can they pick it up? Stay put. Whack. Hmm. KO, that's good. Ah, we call that Nuffles Kiss. It's a three plus pass. This guy's gonna get so much pass in SPP. They've got a chance of three plus. They've got a good intercept chance here, but we gotta try it. We gotta try it. Scoops up the ball. We could get another touchdown right here, right now. It's for the AI to decide if they're gonna try. Come on, AI, cheers. AI. 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 Hello? Uh oh. There's no kill timer down. There's no timer this time. Oh, this is turn eight as well. We're still in the first half. I hope there's a timeout. I guess I'll see you all in a second again. Right, it appears we're. Listen, it's been about five minutes. So Timer's not going down, nothing's happening. I don't think there's any way for me to fix this. So, normally what I would do is I'd just go and I'd just completely restart the whole match from scratch and do a full second uh, recording session with you. But, there's a lot of stuff that I wouldn't be able to capture again. Like uh, my reaction when I find out the Snotlins have this new ability swarming. That they never used to have. Um, did the Underworld Dungeons even have Snotlins before? I don't remember. I don't think I ever used them before. I think I just went straight to Goblins. So maybe they did have Swarm. Oh, maybe Underworld Dungeons are the only team that had Swarming before, but I just didn't notice it. Now, surely, because I'm pretty sure we did a. In Blood Bowl 2, we did a playthrough of the Underworld Dungeons, and I'm pretty sure someone would have told me if I was missing out on something so awesome. So I'm pretty sure that's new. I'm like. 85% sure the swarming's new. Um, but yeah, I want to. So I wanted just to see those initial honest reactions, and so I thought we'll just leave this as the first part, and we can just consider it the making the team part and the sort of learning the ropes, like a little demo. We did the first half basically of a game. We'll go back and we'll do it properly next time. Um, I know when Blood Bowl Three was released, I remember there was quite a few glitches like this and quite a few bugs. But they did get them all fixed pretty fast, if memory serves. And we've had, I've had next to no issues uh, since then. 
So fingers crossed they're able to fix the few issues we've had uh, really fast like they did before. Um, but yeah, you know what, actually we'll go back and we'll... Uh, uh, conceding, do you want to continue? Yeah, we'll just concede. This forgot his hand. Boom, 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 we will concede! Wait, what? We still count as winning? 3 0? No MVP in the case of a. Uh... Oh, yeah, oh wait, oh, wait, they count as winning! 3 0. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Boom, so that makes it completely count as it didn't happen. Because they won. Yep, 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 right. And then we're going to come into here. We're going to hire another Snotling. Do we not have the... Oh, we don't have the money left to hire another Snotling. Oh. That's why I wanted to come back here, because I wanted to see you see me hiring another Snotling. So we had the three of them. Because I love the Snotlings now. I absolutely love them! The chance to get more than 11 players on the pitch! Yes, please, I don't care if they're strength! One! I can use them on the corners to get plus ones! The glorified plus one tokens! The glorified forcing the, the extra rolls on the enemy team there! They're perfect! They're just... Bother to throw a situation to make them slightly more in your favour. They're not good players, they're epic players. I love the Snotlins. Yes, I'm really looking forward to playing more of this team now that the fact that we've got the Snotlins, I was thinking them just as worse scaven the whole first half of the game. Now with the Snotlins, they're like, oh, it's like worse scaven, but I don't know how to describe it at the same time. There's, it's a unique thing to like, that, do any other teams get Snotlins at the moment? Uh, I don't think so. Because what teams get Snotlins? Because uh, the Underworld Denzins get Snotlins. The Ogres get Snotlins, but they're not in game yet. It's the Goblin Goblin team, do they get Snotlins? They're not in team yet anyway, but I don't think they I don't think they get Snotlins. I don't think they had Snotlins in Blood Bowl 2 or in the tabletop. I think in the tabletop they could get Snotlins, in the new version of the tabletop. So the Goblins will probably have this as well. But I don't think any other teams get Snotlins. Ogre Kingdoms will be really fun to play now if, uh, well, Ogres. If they, if they still get Snotlins. Because that is going to be, like, hilarious. Having five, it's going to be one hell of a bad team. Having five big guys and then just an insane amount of Snotlins is, yeah. Uh, yeah, I really, despite having to quit out the game, I really enjoyed that. And uh, I'm looking forward to this will be our sort of, we've created the team sort of first episode. Next time we'll, time we'll jump in and we'll do this. Um, hopefully they'll fix those bugs relatively fast. They did last time, if memory serves. I hope you've all enjoyed this. I shall see you all next time. Bye, say bye.